Hello, I'm Ed Rapp, Caterpillar Group President and CFO. I'm pleased to report that today we announced an all-time record quarterly sales and revenues and a significant increase in profit from last year. You know, while strong results are great, we're also positioning the business for the long run. So before I get into the specifics of the numbers, I'd like to update you on some of the key strategic moves from the quarter. You know, we spent a considerable amount of time during the quarter working to close on the Besiris acquisition, which finally closed on July 8th. It's a great addition that positions us well in an expanding global mining business, and we warmly welcome 10,000 employees to the Caterpillar family. Through the efforts of employees across the enterprise, our strong cash flow allowed us to complete the acquisition without the need to issue equity. Avoiding this dilution is great for our stockholders. While acquisitions offer opportunities, we also see strong organic growth going forward. And as a result, we continue to invest in additional capacity. Strong global growth led to the announcement of a new remanufacturing facility in Singapore, as well as a new facility in Thailand to produce medium track type tractors. We're also investing here close to home as we announced an expansion of our hydraulic excavator facility in Victoria, Texas, and a new parts distribution center in Spokane, Washington. So from a strategic perspective, it was an exciting quarter, and it was supported by good financial results as well. Our record sales and revenues for the quarter were 14.2 billion, up 37% from last year. You know, to put the sales and revenue figure in perspective, second quarter machine shipment levels were over three times the level of the third quarter of 09, which was the bottom of the recession. You know, I'd like to thank our employees, our dealers, and especially our suppliers for the exceptional job in responding to the increase in customer demand. Sales improved across the world in all geographic regions. Emerging markets continue to be a key driver with good economic growth. Business in Latin America, the Middle East, Africa, the CIS, and Asia is very good. And while economic growth in the developed world is much weaker, we continue to see improvement in our business in North America as well as Europe. For example, sales in North America were up 30% as customers and dealers are refreshing equipment in their aging fleets. As a result of the global growth and demand, we've added over 18,000 people to our global workforce over the past year, but at the same time are keeping a very close eye on our cost structure. With the addition of Bucyrus, the year-over-year -year comparisons become a bit more complex. To provide a consistent comparison with our 2010 results and our previous outlook, we feel it's important to talk about our financial results this year with and without the impact of the Bucyrus acquisition. Excluding the impact of Bucyrus, profit was $1.72 per share in the quarter, and that's up 58% from a year ago. Although we closed Bucyrus after the quarter ended, we did incur $204 million in costs related to Bucyrus in the second quarter including interest rate swaps put in place as an insurance policy against higher interest rates, bridge financing, and integration planning. So including the impact of those Besires-related charges, profit per share was $1.52 in a quarter, an increase of 39% from the second quarter of 2010. Today we also announced a new outlook for the full year of 2011. And like the actual results, we're providing a view of our expectations for the full year, both with and without Bucyrus, to provide a consistent comparison to our prior outlook. Excluding the impact of Bucyrus, we're raising expectations. We expect sales and revenue to be between 54 and 56 billion, and profit per share of 675 to 725. That's an increase of about 2 billion in sales and revenue, and 50 cents a share in terms of the profit contribution versus our previous outlook. We expect Bucyrus to add about $2 billion in sales over the second half of the year, but it will have a negative impact on profit of about $0.50 cents per share because of the normal upfront deal-related and integration type costs. So including Bucyrus, we expect sales and revenues in the range of $56 to $58 billion and profit per share of $6.25 to $6.75. 
You know, in closing, we had an exciting quarter. We're responding to the increase in demand, investing in the future, and we expect 2011 to be our best year in history for sales and revenue and profit. So in what in many ways was a turbulent quarter from a global economic perspective, we continue to move forward. You know, the urbanization that is occurring around the world is leading to infrastructure investment and supporting strong commodity prices. This along with replacement demand in the developed parts of the world are positively impacting our business. And with the investments we are making in additional capacity, product development, and acquisitions, we believe we will be well positioned for continued success. If you'd like to learn more about our second quarter results, you can find additional information in our second quarter 2011 financial release. It's available in the investor section of Caterpillar.com. Thank you for your time and for your interest in Caterpillar.